Hi guys, junk pile time. I've had about five or six requests for a gravity powered car that uses a kilogram weight, which is pretty heavy, but it can only drop 10 centimeters, which is not very far. Now I made this one up to see what I could do, and I was getting about five meters with it but I've since had a request that says they want to do 10 metres. So I'm going to have a complete rethink and have a look at one of my old um, mousetrap cars. I copied a design by a chap called I Donagin. So I'll put links in my video description to his uh, videos, but they're mousetrap cars. And I'm going to see if we can do the same with a plain gravity one. So what we want is some old LPs. These are some that I bought in a charity shop quite a while ago, when LPs were unpopular. They now seem to be popular again, so there'll be some people who are going to get quite upset with what I'm going to do. Use a couple of these old LPs as the wheels, and I'm going to make a two wheeled gravity powered car. And there we go, that's basically the car. The axles actually come from a garden fan, like that, that thing there. I don't know if you can see, but it's, a, it's sort of a black plastic tube. In fact, I don't think it's plastic, I think it's fiberglass. And it's just a tiny bit bigger than the hole that was in the middle of the record to begin with, so I just put the tube in my electric drill and allowed it to melt its own way through. So that's that. I'm going to drill a little hole right through the middle of the tube or the axle to put a little peg, a bit of wood through it, to hook the weights onto. And then we'll just hang the weights underneath. Wind it up, and then let it go, and see how far we go. There we are, up together. I've got my 10 centimetre guide here, and I can't quite Get it underneath. Just we're just under ten centimeters high. So that I'll just have to do. Right. What that means is we've got to adjust the length of that bit of string because it's just too long. We need it to drop off so that it can carry on freewheeling. As it was, we did four metres there, I think. So I'll just shorten that. I'm not sure if the camera will see this, but I've adjusted the length of the string so it's just shorter than the distance from the ground to the axle so that it should drop clean off and allow the wheels to carry on freewheeling. Wound up again. Let's see what happens this time. Brilliant. Excellent. We'll measure that. That's my tape measure. So we started just here. Which is 8 metres 30. So if we've got to do 10 metres, 
but we do need to come back into my hallway. And start from just here. The only problem there is it's a bit uneven. I'll give it a try just to see if it can manage it, but you have to understand we're going over some uneven surfaces then. Right, my scissors are marking the 10 meter start line. So we'll just let it go and see what happens. And there we go, 10 metres with a 10 centimetre drop and a 1 kilogram weight. Oh, better just check that weight, haven't we? nine eight seven grams so I'm a tiny bit light that's good enough for me though summary time what have we got we've got a gravity powered car that uses a kilogram of weight that drops 10 centimeters and goes 10 meters these are old vinyl LPs, long playing records. The axle is some sort of fiberglass tube. I drilled a little hole in the middle and put a bit of a um, toothpick in there just to hook the weight onto. The string I'm using is kite string so it's very strong. And I did put a little bit of hot glue to stop the wheels moving on the axles. And that's it. Job done. Oh, don't forget to have a look at the video description. Because this is a straight copy of a mousetrap car that does, uh, I don't know, hundreds of feet distance. Designed by... I Donegan. So there'll be links to his original mousetrap car in the video description.